Four Leaf Clover by Cynthia Platt. Sandy was feeling unlucky. She had stubbed her paw, dropped her didgeridoo, and spilled her milk, and it was still morning. I have an idea, Sandy said. I'll look for a four leaf clover. That will bring me good luck. Soon, Peck joined her. What are you looking for? he asked. A four leaf clover for good luck, Sandy replied. Hmm, said Peck. I found four leaves. We need a clover, Sandy told him, not leaves. Wowee! Look at this flower, Peck said. It has four petals. Flowers are pretty, but they aren't lucky, Sandy reminded him. Sandy was starting to wonder if they'd ever find a four leaf clover. I couldn't find a four leaf clover, but I found four strawberries growing here, Peck called. We can each have two. Well, if I can't be lucky, at least I'll have strawberries to eat, Sandy said. Then, Peck noticed something in the grass and handed it to Sandy. A four leaf clover, she said. Now you'll have good luck, Peck cheered. And I'll use it to look for another one, she said, so that you'll have good luck too. High Five by Cynthia Platt. Cody was getting ready for a baseball game with her friends. First, she counted five baseball caps. This is fun, Cody said. Next came the baseball jerseys. Each of her five friends needed a jersey in order to play, so Cody counted them to make sure everyone had one. It was almost time for the game, but Cody still had to give everyone a baseball mitt. Getting ready is hard work, Cody said. Cody thought she was finally ready for the game, but realized she forgot something important. Snacks, she said. We'll all be hungry after we play. So she carefully put snacks in each of the cubbies. Just as she was finished getting all of the gear ready, her friends arrived. Cody high fived each of them, and then they set out to play baseball. Six Legs by Cynthia Platt. Rhea was reading a great book about bugs. Did you know that all insects have six legs? She asked Cody. That can't be true, Cody said. Some bugs have more legs than that. What about grasshoppers? Six legs, Rhea said. Hmm, said Cody. How do you know ants have six legs? They're too small to even count. Look through this magnifying glass, Rhea told her. Count the ants' legs. Cody did. There were six. What about butterflies? said Cody. They have wings instead of lots of legs. They have both, Rhea said. Let me see, Cody said, and counted the legs of a nearby butterfly. Spiders have eight legs, Cody said. But they're not insects, Rhea told her. They're arachnids. Cody thought about that. Are bees insects? she asked. Rhea nodded. So they have six legs. Cody went and got some noodles from the pool. Now I have six legs like an insect, too, she said. But you already have legs, Rhea said, laughing. Now you have too many. Cody laughed, too. Then maybe I'll stick to being a bear. Seven Days a Week by Cynthia. Cody was looking at the Kids Club calendar. Do you know what's funny? What? asked Sandy. There are seven days of the week, Cody said. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Why is that funny? Sandy asked. Well, there are things I do just one day a week, Cody said, and things I do all seven days of the week. That's true, Sandy said. I only see my grandma one day a week. And I go to soccer practice three days a week, but not all seven, Cody said. What are things you do on all seven days? Sandy asked. I take a bath seven days a week, Cody said. And I read bedtime stories seven days a week, said Sandy. Cool beans, said Cody. I read stories all seven days too. Do you know what else I like to do seven days of the week? Sandy asked. Hang out with me? 
Cody said. Of course, Sandy replied.